I'm Vera Tattel. Hi, I'm Annie Sue. I'm, I'm the Eunice, Eunice alum. alum. Wait, hey, what? What? <laughs> I've been at Eunice for 13 years. Well, I've been in Eunice for 14 years. So that makes you how old? <laughs> <laughs> I've been involved in yearbook for three years, working my way up to editor-in-chief. Um, this was my first year being the yearbook advisor. Together we co-designed a blended learning course for yearbook. Our design choices were based on Eunice Blended Learning Standards 3, Student Interaction and Engagement to Facilitate Effective Teamwork and Collaboration, and Standard 4, Students Have Access to a Range of Quality Resources and Support. A problem we encountered in the previous years was teaching our students how to design pages, take good photos, manage their deadlines, and use the online design tool to create our yearbook. Yearbook also wavered between the lines of a club and a class. In the blended learning lab, we transformed yearbook into a class, which we did by creating and curating assignments and activities on Schoology. Thus, we can make more resources available and help introduce yearbook to new students. What are you most proud of? I'm most proud of the organizational chart for yearbook that um, we created because it gives a really good overview of the many positions in yearbook that students hold from editors-in-chief to section editors um, to uh, outside resources we use in terms of um, going out to the UNIS community and, and requesting images and stories from from parents, from other students that are not part of the club. So this is a really good place to start and give um, all students um, a very good overview of the structure of yearbook, which runs like basically a mini corporation. Well, <laughs> Annie, um, what are you most proud of? Okay. Well, I'm most proud of the Bible that I wrote. Um, it isn't the actual Bible, by the way. Uh, it's just all of the advice that I've that I had for the yearbook members of 2016. Everything that's stored in this brain about yearbook, uh, I've included, and I don't know. It's just a good place for resources, and they can always reference it in the future. So mm -hmm. I think that's nice. Um, and I'm also proud of the Hunger Games tags that I created for each section. Um, this is help. This would help them. Uh, sorry, the Hunger Games tags would help them interact and engage in their own little group. sections. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, there's definitely that sort of like district feeling and how <laughs> they can, you know, work work uh, together. Yeah, them. yeah. So that's when they're in class and they're sitting together and actually mm -hmm. um, building out. Uh, their the various pages yeah. of designing and when they're talking to the editor in chief they can be like I volunteered for tribute <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's awesome um, another thing that I'm proud of is the Photoshop tutorials that mm -hmm. we found in YouTube um, some of them were like rather short but we clipped them um, so there is good information about uh, you know adjusting the hue and saturation yeah and resizing image sizes, you know, resizing images. Yeah, these are really good tips. I don't think um, this uh, past group of students for the 2015 book, some of them had those skills, but we'd love for, for it to everyone. be shared and mm -hmm. everyone having um, just fundamentals down yeah. in design, in photography, in proofreading. Yeah. Um, that for me was actually a highlight too, where we got to um, figure out how best to get copy editors in the mindset that they're reading for common mistakes or just um, really being detail-oriented um, and meticulous in what they're looking at. So um, yeah, I had fun finding a video to represent that um, grammar, quick grammar rules, mm -hmm. and also the game yeah, that the can game be played is useful. pretty useful. Yeah. Cool. Makes your book more fun. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. You too. <laughs>